is it? That was good. This is Mike Bowler and Fred McMurray from the Elite Service Disabled Veteran Owned Business 2011 Conference in Chicago, Illinois. We're at the Doubletree on Ohio 300 State. 300 East Ohio. I'm Fred McMurray, and this is my partner. Hi, I'm Mike Bowler. I got to tell you, what is this, July 20th? It is. It's like over 100 degrees outside. Thank God. And you guys should visit us because there's air conditioning in here and it's all right. There's a lot of people here. A lot of celebrities. I can't believe it. I've already met some folks and it really doesn't get kicked off until tomorrow, does it, Fred? No, it's really kind of amazing, isn't it, Mike? We were just here doing setup and yet everything's going smoothly. We're pretty much all set up. We're going to see if we can sneak some folks over here. Yeah, I thought I recognized one of the generals. He had four stars on him. I don't know if he's a general or not because I wasn't in the service. But it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. Uh, it'll be interesting to talk to not only the people attending it, but to listen to a lot of the different uh, breakouts that are going to be occurring and showing people how they can do business with the federal government. It could be minority, woman-owned, anybody that wants to do business. Plus, you have the opportunity to talk to a lot of elite, service-disabled, veteran-owned businesses. So if you want to talk to somebody that owns businesses, you ought to join us. I think I see Michelle Rempel of Mediavine Marketing, one of our booth dwellers over there. We're going to see if, let's switch seats and I'll see if I can drag her over here. Oh. <laughs> 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 Why, if it didn't, Michelle Rempel. Hello. Michelle, how are you today? I'm good. I'm cooling down, though. So you know, I'm happy about that. You know, I see you all over uh, the yeah. internet, blogging, yeah. YouTube, yeah. LinkedIn, Twitter, StumbleUpon. I know I'm missing some. Is there anything else we had to point out? Oh, yeah. You're missing some, but you know, you could go on forever, but. I think well, named them all off. So well, okay. it's not all of them. There's like 300 of them. Yeah, right? exactly. That's anyway, I saying. think it's really cool. You've been putting out some unbelievably great blogging material and content. Aww, for, thank you. You know, people that are interested, particularly small businesses, if they want to get involved with social right, media, some business. of the pitfalls to avoid and some of the things to do to uh, maximize their time, effort, and budget spent on right. utilizing it. Right. That's right. Yeah. And not everybody's the same. Oh, no. Not all the businesses are the same depending upon which platform they need to use if they're targeting something right. specifically, right? Yep. Yeah, you want to depends. share that with us a little bit? Oh, sure. Um, yeah, it depends on a lot, a variety of things. I mean, what's the industry? What, um, who's the target market? Uh, you know, what, what are your goals for using social media? So there's a lot of things that come into play when deciding you know, which platforms are best, what strategy is best, and so on. And you're right, no two businesses are the same, so, and really no plan is going to be exactly the same. And that's what we do. We work with small business and help them get, raise their visibility and get noticed online. Well, the biggest deal with social media, correct me if I'm wrong, is, uh, unlike traditional media, but you get interaction with the right. target market you're trying to speak with and or the people you're trying to reach. That's yes? right. Yeah, it's a... Interaction is is key, and you know, social media isn't something that you can set and forget. It's not like you can just mail out a flyer and then you know maybe a couple of weeks later do a follow up and see if they got the flyer. With social media, you know, if you wait a couple of weeks, you know, the world has passed you by a million times over, and um, you know they're on to the next thing. So you really have to take advantage and uh, and work at it every day, and that can be really challenging for a small business owner. But that's one of the things we do is help. Simplify that process. Well, you stay current. You're always on we that always leading edge, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're also uh, uh, putting on a workshop today, right? Tomorrow. Or tomorrow. Yep, tomorrow. tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be What speaking. are you presenting? Um, well, the <laughs> presentation is called Simplifying Social Media um, for Small Businesses. And I'll be talking about uh, a variety of strategies that people can use to get started. Um, you know, since I don't know exactly what everybody's experience in the audience has been or what they are. Um, I'm going to kind of try to talk to the, you know, the person who's at least tried a few things and um, give, them a, give them a bunch of tips, you know, that they can immediately use. And I think that's really important. Absolutely. Get them involved. Shell, is there anything else you want to share? The folks out there, um, send some kind of message besides the look you up at <laughs> www.mediavinemarketing.com. Right. Is that correct? That's right, mediavinemarketing.com. I'm looking forward to this evening. 
except for the heat, which is you got a boat ride a problem, yeah. Um, but yeah, a boat ride it should be much much cooler out on the water, so I'm looking forward to that. All right, thanks for visiting with us. I thanks. know everybody's going to get a chance to see you. Thank there you. you have it, Michelle Ripple, Bye. social media goddess. Bye. <laughs> see you later. Uh, how do you shut? Huh? Say, how do you stop it? You can't. You're on next. Slide in the seat. Slide in the seat. Oh, we're live. Sorry, watch out. We're live. Oh, we're live. Hi, how are you doing? Fine, how are you? All right, Hello. 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 Hi, everybody. Force me. Get closer, folks. Get the glasses. Uh -huh. right. Yeah, you almost get a little closer. All right. We have <laughs> Rebecca Aguilera, uh -huh. Chardonnay, Gardner. Gardner. Uh -huh. Ah, it was pretty close, one way or the other. So, Rebecca, yeah. you're with Printing Incorporated. I'm with Diego and Son. Diego and Son. Sounds Diego like a cigar Sun. shop, but in this case, yeah, it's a yeah, printing it's a print spot. shop. Yeah. yeah? Uh -huh. Tell us a little bit about Diego and Son. Well, we started back in 1972. My parents started it uh, in 1972 as a small kind of garage type of printing business. Yeah. And um, with just a couple few employees and themselves. And they have uh, now, we've now grown into um, a large, you know, 18 uh, shop with uh, every do and we could do everything from one color business card to an elaborate presentation folder and uh, and you know we're strong and staying busy and so my brother and I now run the business and my parents are now retired. So you're from San Diego? I'm from San Diego. Uh -huh. well, this has got to be really comfortable for you. Oh. 100 plus degrees in humidity. Well, here, right? I just walked out and I'm like I went about four blocks to Michigan Avenue. I'm like holy oh. smokes. Okay. Yeah. A lot of good shopping over there. So you got 18 different spots. Are they spread out all over? Uh, no, 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 not spots, but 18 different employees. We have 18, oh, 18, 18 employees. employees. Many, 18 employees. Do you have one location? We have one location. And uh -huh. your service area? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, nationwide, because anywhere that UPS goes, we can go. We have uh, different clients. We have MetLife, who we ship stuff to New York for, a variety of different customers. We have Sacramento. So anywhere that UPS goes, we can go. UPS uh -huh. goes, you can go. Yeah, exactly. Uh, any message you want to send out there? Um, actually, yep. We're okay. a service disabled veteran. We're a hub zone <laughs> printing business. Oh, it looks straight. Yeah. <laughs> We're a hub zone business and uh, minority owned. But uh, we also, I mean, we are a very quality control printing uh, business with, and we completely utilize everything. We have digital printing as well as offset printing and so, so a variety of different things and we can turn around things pretty quickly. You're one of the sponsors? Here no, today? I'm not one of the no? sponsors. I'm a volunteer. I've been with the Elite uh, DBBE for about uh, 10 years. 10 years? Uh -huh. All right. So, so First I'm just time a in Chicago. Where's the youth? Their home's in San Diego, isn't it? Yeah, their home's in San Diego. Uh huh. All right. So. Very good. Uh, how do people get a hold of you, Rebecca? Uh, they can check out our website at www.diego, D I E G O, and A N D, son, S O N, dot com, or they can. Wow, that's a mouthful. Yeah, it's DiegoandSon.com. DiegoandSon.com. Yeah. D E G O. Yeah. All right. Exactly. How about phone number? Uh, 619-233-5373, and call me, extension 130. <laughs> Rebecca. Call Rebecca. Call Rebecca. All right, thanks a lot. All right, thank we'll you. We'll see you around. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Thanks. All righty. Oh, next guy. You're up. You're up. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing good, Bill. Good. Uh, I want to scoot up just a hair more. It's not like I'm trying to get fresh, but you got to get kind of close get it. You know, I always wanted to meet an apostle. It looks like we have one right here. Is that pronounced correctly? It's William. It's a, it's apostle. Apostle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bill, what can you tell us? You're with the elite. You're yes. with the people that this putting national convention is exactly. for. You're putting on the conference. That's that. The uh, service disabled better known business mm -hmm. network, right? The elite service disabled veteran known business network. Just go ahead and, and, uh, and scoot over we here. We are. We are a nationwide uh, veterans organization that uh, is here to, A, assist service disabled vets, start businesses, and help those that already have businesses grow their business. Yeah. Now, how long have you been with this? I've so been you're with... the secretary treasurer, is that correct? Uh, of the Maryland chapter. I'm actually... Maryland. I'm from Maryland. I'm from Maryland. I'm from the Maryland chapter, and we also are... Uh, the na I'm the national committee chair for the uh, conference. Oh, Okay. Now we're hoping we're going to turn out this thing. So doggone hot, it's hard to say. But uh, you had a lot of good help. 
volunteers. Oh, absolutely. Chicago chapter's been fantastic. Wouldn't have been able to get it off the ground without them. Um, they've got a great chapter here in Illinois um, and the surrounding area, so I think uh, I think anybody in the neighborhood should check them out. What are you hoping to be able to do besides expand some of the uh, visibility of the organization itself? Are you... Go ahead. My main purpose with this is to get business for service disabled veterans businesses, locally and nationally. Um, yeah, we want to expand our membership, but we, we also want to make sure that uh, service disabled vets can get some business out of this. Now, I can't guarantee that that's going to happen for everybody, right. but that's my goal, is to try and make partnerships happen between government and prime contractors and these service disabled veterans. Well, put a lot of time, effort, resources into this thing. Are you involved with any business besides it, Bill? Uh, I am. We have a company called Quicksilver Analytics. Quicksilver Analytics. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, we're a small company out of uh, Abingdon, Maryland. We make uh, we manufacture kits for testing of ChemBio warfare agent. ChemBio warfare agent. How's business? Uh, business is good. It's picking back up. We had a little trouble with the budget, but other than that, we're doing well. Yeah. Very good. How does somebody? Uh, how do they get a hold of you? you? Have a website? I do. It's www.chembiokits.com. www.chembiokits.com. How about a phone number? 410-676-4300. Uh, All right. All right. Bill Apostol. Apostol. Apostol with the Elite Service DVOB. Uh, to mention, Secretary Treasurer of the organization. So, Bill? All right. Thanks. thanks. Nice meeting you. Here. We'll see you. Bet. Talk to this man. How's it going, young man? Pretty good. Gene Klein. Hey, Gene. I know that name. I know you do. All right. Oh, <laughs> you know. Oh, you know what? I gotta remember to get that button. I think you give me the button. Gene, you're gonna scoot over a little bit closer. Get a little closer up here, and then just look right in there. Hey, this is Mike Bowler. I'm with the Link Local Network. We're here at the Elite. SDVOB National Conference here in uh, Chicago, Illinois, Double Tree Hotel, 300 East Ohio. I have the uh, pleasure of getting to speak again with Gene Klein. Gene? My pleasure. Thank tell you us a little bit about what's going on here. Well, uh, here is the National Conference for Service Disabled Veteran Business Owners. Yeah. We get together, compare our successes and our challenges so that we can, as a group, collectively move forward in helping veterans become entrepreneurs and become successful. And we are one of those. The company that I work with is uh, KDE Enterprises. KD. KDE Enterprise. Kilo Delta Echo. Kilo Delta Echo, absolutely. And American Indian, service disabled, vet, Agent Orange, Vietnam War. Wow. And we are in the disaster response preparation and planning. Is that disaster restoration or disaster recovery? Response? Recovery and planning. Okay. We have products for planning for your survival in a Katrina type thing. Okay. Or in a Joplin type of adventure. Ah, I see. We have chill towels, which in the extreme heat, like we have in Chicago right now, will keep you cool. I hope you brought a box of those along. We can <laughs> use them. I have some. And also, we have insect armor, which protects you from those biting insects that you not only find in a disaster, but also that you will find in if you're out golfing, out gardening, or just outside camping. So that'll work on mosquitoes regardless of where you happen to be. Over 100 different biting insects, including if you're in the south, fire ants. Really? Are those things heavy or No, very light. Or very light hot? towel. Nope. Very light towels. It is a dry towel. The EPA says you can get 72 washings out of it. So the towel itself will disintegrate before you get 72 washings out of it. <laughs> and it's it cost effective. The uh, towel, the uh, insect armor goes for $20. Our uh, frigid towel goes for $10. And we'll have uh, 1st of August a regenerate that you can regenerate uh, the frigid towel. We're also coming out for. Uh, people that work outside, a frigid shirt, and uh, a frigid safety vest. For we, might those that work. we might need a couple of those frigid towels tonight. I think you can make some sales if we go out there. And I the probably could. Don't you think so? Well, it's good to see you again. A pleasure. Absolutely. Gene Klein with...
KDE. KDE. Enterprise. KDE, that's correct. Enterprise. Gene, how did I get a hold of you? Thanks. Local you know. number in Illinois, 847-961-5818. Our website, www.kdebiz.com. All right. Now, what's that phone number again? 847-961-5818. All right. Hey. Thank you very much. Be careful, young man. I'm looking for one of those towels and one of those bug things. Have you got two XLs? I can take care of you. All right. I'll take care of you. Thanks. Thank you. Mr. Sturdivant. Man, they got a lot of people here. They're all over the place. We're pretty uh, fortunate to be able to help these guys out, but we certainly want to support the, uh, the veterans. And that is this. Hey, well, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nothing wrong with that at all. How you doing? Good, sir. How are you? I'm, I'm very good. Please, I'm not sick. Dan? Mm -hmm. All right. My goodness. Dan, might have to scoot up just a hair and scoot get up. closer. Yeah, the camera. My big head blocks a lot of that. Oh, okay. One way or the other. We have, uh, we're here, this is Mike Bowler, we're here at the uh, Doubletree Hotel, 300 East Ohio Street, downtown Chicago, for the National the, uh, Elite Service Disabled Veteran Owned Business Company. And uh, Dan, scoot up here, we have Dan Sturdivant. Sturdivant? Sturdivant. I, Sturdivant, mm -hmm. with Homeland Security. So I better be in, watching better be my good. P's and Watch Q's. yourself, man. All right, Dan, what can you tell us about uh, your participation here and what else is going on with Homeland Security, maybe? Well, we're, an office, we're an office of small and disadvantaged business utilization. And Scoot up just a hair. Scoot up a little yeah, bit. So oh, here you go. There you go. There you go. I'm with the Office of Small and Disadvantaged Business Utilization. I'm actually the Service Able Veteran Owned Business Coordinator for the Department of Homeland Security, their small business office. I'm also a Service Able Veteran. Uh, two tours in Vietnam with the uh, Marines, uh, Bronze Star, two Purple Hearts. So, of course, this is near and dear to me because this is part of what I am as well. We got a real life uh, hero. I know I did, wasn't old enough quite in Vietnam, and I, I, I just tip my head. I know uh, I have relatives involved with that. And right. This guy's won this many stars. I got to tell you, this is a real John Wayne. Well, so to speak. Well, I appreciate it, but I tell people all the time. I said I'm not a hero. I was just too young and scared, and I didn't want to die. So, <laughs> well, whatever the case may be, uh, I think the the whole country could help you or thank you. At least they ought to if they have, and I do. I as well it. as uh, all the people you're trying to help around here. Now you're the uh, coordinator, I believe you said, right. uh, uh, for the Service the, Veteran Business Program. You know, there's a law for the mm -hmm. Homeland Security. So exactly. what's that law exactly. consist of? They well, have to do the law consists of first of all. Um, looking out for those servicemen and women from a contractual perspective. Small business, a lot of um, small business owners out here are service disabled veterans and, and, and veterans. Yeah. So we're looking for those who can help us do what we do. Um, we have a very vibrant program. As you know, the goal is 3%. We exceeded the goal last year. We did 3.2, and we realized the goal of DHS, that's the floor, not the ceiling. So we're always striving to do more. Well, that's a tremendous opportunity if they're mm -hmm. aware of it or if they're not aware of it, correct? Well, every every federal agency has the same mandate, same law, and uh, we're looking for them to just follow our lead and do the things that we're doing. We have a very vibrant program. It starts at the top. Secretary Napolitano is big on the veteran program, and it filters all the way down. Secretary Napolitano. She's a great lady. She does a great job. She's very supportive of the veterans program on the hiring side, which is not my side, but the procurement side, which is my side. Procurement side is your side. So yes. if people want more information about this, how do they... Uh, first of all, is there a website they go to? Absolutely. We have, one of the best, we have one of the best small business websites in government. I'm going to give it to you slow because it's long. It's www. Okay. D is in department, H is in homeland, S is in security, dot gov for gov, forward slash, all one word, lowercase, open, O P E N, for F O R of business, B U S I N E S S. So it's www. DHS dot GOV forward slash open for business. All right. And what about a phone number, Dan? I can give them my number. It rings directly on my desk. The number is 202-447-5289. 202-447-5289. Hey, I hope I get a chat with you a little bit later. Here. I'm looking forward Maybe to it. On it. That'll be great. That'll work. Dan Sturdivant with the Department of Homeland Security. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Thanks for visiting with us. Thank you for having me. We're going to be talking to you later. All right. We'll be here. You bet. That's pretty cool. I'd like. I, I want to talk to you some more though. It's sure. your brothers over there. Sure. You know. I got some good information over here. Oh, excellent. 
All right, Beth. Are you? are going to have to scoot up just a little bit. Well, it's just the way the dog is. look this way. Well, you know, I put my arm around people and I start getting the wrong impression. Anyway, this is Mike Bowler. We're here at the Elite SDVOB, Service Disabled Better Known Business National Meeting. It's at the Double Tree, downtown Chicago, 300 East Ohio. And I have Beverly Coley with me. And Beth, what can you tell us a little bit? General Service Administrator. What does that mean? Well, General Services Administration, we're part of the federal government. Uh, uh, GSA pretty much is the landlord to all the other federal agencies where we procure for all types of products and services uh, that federal agencies buy off of our uh, schedules, uh, which is a program that we have that lists different vendors for different products and services that they can sell to the federal government. Wow. So you're here looking for stuff to buy or people to buy We it are from. buyers. Is yes, that right? We- we are buyers looking for businesses, mainly small businesses, because I work in the uh, Office of Small Business Utilization, uh, and we kind of oversee the small business program. So we look for small businesses that are interested in doing business with GSA. Why wouldn't they want to do business with GSA? Federal government, right? That's, That's right. That's your representative. Exactly. That's exactly right. Are you putting on one of the uh, breakout sessions? Or uh, you know what? A segment were... of uh, a portion of GSA is doing that. Our office is not doing it. Uh, I think we have a mental protege uh, uh, presenter for GSA and also our public building services representatives that will be talking about construction-related services uh, and procurement opportunities that we may have available. This covers a wide variety of industries, not just construction, correct? Exactly. GSA procures for all types of products and services, but uh, mainly our speakers are going to be talking about the construction side of it. Anybody that's out there watching wants to do business with the federal government, we're going to find out how to get a hold of Bev here. Where, 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 where are you located at? Are you in Chicago or are we you are on in the Chicago. East Coast? We're yeah, right man, here you man in the Chicago. Office here? Yes, we do. Uh, downtown Chicago, 230 South Dearborn, the JCK Federal Building. Um, my phone number, uh, we have a toll-free number, 1-800-353-5383. You can call that number to get in touch with us. Uh, uh, we'd love to see you guys here at the event and we have information that we're sharing. Yeah, they're trying, hey, they're trying to find people they want to do business with. Give us that phone number again, Beth, just in case. It's 1-800-353-5383. There she is, Bev Coley. She's looking to try to find people she can buy stuff from. I don't know if anybody wants to sell their products, goods, or services to be a good person to get a hold of. Besides being a wonderful lady. For the federal government, General <laughs> Services Administration, we have Bev Coley. Thanks, Bev. I thank know you. we'll be talking to you. Okay, thank you. All right, thanks. <laughs> well, Mike, I'm back. We've had a pretty good. <laughs> oh, it's a... It's good. Yeah, we just got a good start here. Yeah, Jeez. Yeah, great there's a, people. There's a lot of people. I see another one over there. We should talk to you if they got time to, oh, to you join mean, us, but it doesn't look like, uh, maybe not right now. Uh, we'll get her. Don't worry. There's going to be no shortage of people to talk to, though. And I hope this can be shared out. Well, it's being shared out right now, but hopefully uh, enough people can look at it. Look, we just talked to people from the federal government that are trying to find people they can do business with. You know? That is. Sounds to me like it's a good idea. If uh, you want to get some business come down, that doesn't even count the veterans that own the business. No. These are just government agencies. It's, it's some of the Department of Homeland Security and General Service Administration. Uh, California Edison, I think I see here. Uh, CNH. A whole lot of people are, are the, uh, out. Atlanta. Yeah. What else? Idaho Cleanup. There's all kinds of them around here. So, so it's, it's rocking, Mike, and we'll, we'll come back live in a bit. All right. We'll talk to you later. Link locally, connect locally.